God bless you. I'm Apostle Donald Graham from Fresh Wind TV. We're back on the final segment with Apostle Vincent Poole. We have been richly blessed because he has really given some details that I feel are absolutely vital. One thing that we say so much, we always talk about how God used to move, how the anointing used to be high, how his power used to flow. And we read all of these biblical excerpts about God moving, people being healed, delivered, set free from different things in different situations. And we've always asked ourselves why aren't we seeing the manifestation of God's power like we've seen in time past? And I promise you, sitting here, Apostle Poole has made clear so many little details that we've missed as a people and as a church that would explain why we're not seeing the total fulfillment of not only ministries, but anointings and powers in this last hour. I hate that this is the last segment, but while we got him, I just want to ask the apostle, can you give us some insight to the churches, to the pastors and ministries that are out here of things that we really need to be doing right now to help us get back in alignment with the plan and the timing of God, to give us some insight about things we need to be doing, even in the spirit and the natural realm. Well, as far as studies, you know, again, as I said in the beginning, I believe no revelation comes forth without prayer. Every, any ministry, if God has called you to ministry, you need to be on your face and seeking God about the direction for that ministry, for that particular calling, for your particular calling and the direction that God is calling you. We've got too many people in my estimation that go out in ministry trying to imitate someone else. Uh. You need to know what God has called you to and the birthplace of ministry is going to be the place of prayer. You see, when God birthed me, the first thing, the first thing I taught for years was just prayer. Because see, in my estimation, God, through the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ, taught prayer. You know, he gave examples of preaching and teaching and healing and deliverance and those things, but he taught, he actually laid out um, a blueprint, mm. if you allow me to use that vernacular for prayer because that is first and foremost. And because Jesus came and changed the mindset mm. about prayer because um, those disciples, those Jewish boys that he called to himself were not unfamiliar with prayer. I mean, mm. the Old Testament again was their history. Right, right. Uh, and so they were familiar with all the biblical characters that we grew up with and those were their forefathers. So they knew about prayer. But see, they at that point in time, they were recognizing God as the God of Israel, mm -hmm. as a national deity mm -hmm. rather than father. Okay. See, Jesus tried, taught them how to bring God up close and personal. And that's where we're going to have to be. We're going to go back to the garden where Adam walked with God, walked hand in hand. He was connected mm. with God. And Jesus dared to say, I and my father mm. are one. Mm. He, and a lot of times I say it and people think it's funny, but he, he simply became God's yes man. Mm. He said, I only say what I hear my father say. I only do what I see my father do. And then he dared to say, when you see me, hmm. you see the father. So when we understand our purpose and position and when we're in the place of prayer, because that's where you could find Jesus. His ministry was simply one prayer meeting to another prayer meeting. And what I mean by that, the Bible says, <coughs> excuse me, he rose up early in the morning and went into a quiet place mm -hmm. and there prayed. And then another place it'll find in the evening, he went and prayed. Well, in between those places of prayer became the demonstration of the power and the glory and the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like to say his ministry operated from one prayer meeting to the another. next. That's awesome. That's so awesome. that's the thing that we're gonna to have to get back to. You know, and that's why he said to those disciples, he literally challenged them. He said, this kind cometh not out, ah. but by 
fasting and prayer. My God, my God. And see, the church has lost its focus mm. on fasting and prayer in many instances. You know, we we focus on choir anniversaries and right. pastors' anniversaries oh. and churches' annual days. And if you call folks out to pray, well, uh, you got a ghost town. That's right. That's right. But you, in it, you have a musical in your packed this house. Mm. So until we recognize the importance and the power and the position of prayer, we really have no ministry. Mm. Mm. And the glory will never be demonstrated 